Well, in Monterey County, county officials are now out with their proposed budget for the next fiscal year, and they're now seeking public input here. This proposal includes $1.5 million for expanded child care, $500,000 for the county's health care for low income and also undocumented families, funding for a new military and a veterans affairs office, expanded rental and utility assistance, and making all county parks free for area residents. KION's Jonathan Saravia spoke to the county and area residents about the impact this budget proposal will have on them. This year's budget proposal of $1.7 billion is expected to touch on some aspects that could be beneficial to residents if passed. Leticia Ibarra is a Greenfield resident who previously worked as an educator for Head Start. She says there is a high need for child care and from her experience, some parents just can't afford it. The children are our future. Not only would parents benefit, but most importantly, the children. Children are just starting to develop, and if they have a good education since the start, then they'll be successful. Monterey County Supervisor Chris Lopez says this budget proposal from Monterey County could help families facing issues paying for child care. The $1.5 million for child care will be used by providing stipends for families who need help with the costs and also to incentivize child care providers. Working as a child care provider making $15 an hour, right now this economy is heating up in terms of the need for workers. You might be able to go make more money by taking a job elsewhere, but we need need those people working in that space and so we need to make that investment now to encourage them to remain within that sphere of work to allow our communities to get back to work. Besides child care, the county's proposal to help undocumented residents get health insurance also caught Ibarra's attention. According to her, a resident's citizenship status is a major hurdle to getting health insurance. Entonces, es triste que it's sad and unfortunate that one's health is not prioritized. Everyone deserves access to a affordable health care. These people work hard and they deserve a healthy life. Supervisor Lopez says expanding Esperanza care is also a priority as it's expected to help multiple low income and undocumented people have access to preventative care as the wait list at Esperanza care continues to grow. But if we can provide it earlier and keep them in our community and healthier longer, that is our real goal to make sure that our community is healthy from the ground up, right? It's how we avoid a lot of chronic diseases which can linger for years. The budget proposal is currently under review and it is expected to be revisited by the end of this month for a final vote. Funds will become available for use starting next month. Reporting from Salinas, Jonathan Saravia, KION News Channel 546.